In the Word. All these incarnations, when God showed himself to a man, would have been the Word. Sorry, I can't hear. If you don't mind. Thank you. So in the past, I can't say he didn't, but we go around at Jesus' time, because for 500 years, the Old Testament finished, right? At that time, Word was God, was not man, not human, not flesh, was God. And he became flesh. So you're it's saying before the incarnation, there's a possibility that the Father wasn't human, I agree. The Spirit, Holy Spirit wasn't human in any way, shape or form. But I'm talking about the Word. Was He any way, shape or form human at all? Before the incarnation? I'll say no, but He had, he had, he had Finally. appeared to people Good. previously, yes. All right. Now the question is this. If Jesus, the flesh died, and the flesh is not part of the Godhead, do you agree? The flesh is not part of the Godhead. Can we conclude by that that no one from the Godhead died for you? Yes, we can say that the Son of God was was because you say you you often talk about Jesus as a human sacrifice, human as human that. Yes, he was flesh and blood and fully man, but he was a man whose only father was the, was given to him through the Spirit of God. So he's a special man. He Did you understand just, my question? Huh? Did you understand my question? He wasn't just any man. What was my question? You said, was the flesh, was, was the Son of God part of the Godhead? You were not listening. Uh, I might have understood you. If the flesh which died on the cross is not part of the Godhead, do you agree with that? The flesh is not part of the Godhead. No, we need to, we need to go in stages in order, because if I misunderstood you, then there's no point of me asking a silly question. So I want to make sure that the question I ask you, you cannot, is based on what you and I understand as the you same. You cannot separate the flesh, the word becoming flesh, and the Son of God being Jesus. You can't separate them. So is the word the flesh? The word became flesh. Yes, but is the word flesh after it became flesh? The word became flesh. I know it became flesh. Listen to me, I'm repeating what you're saying. The word became flesh. Yeah. Now, when it became flesh, is it still the word? But the word is God. So the word's also God, isn't it? Which God? God. There's only one God. Yeah? Mm. Who is that? God Almighty. But according to Jesus, it's only the Father. He, he, yeah, he calls God because he is he is his son, isn't he? The Holy Spirit breathed into Mary's nostrils. The gift of the birth came from God. That's why he calls him Father. He no, no, not father. father. He calls him my God. Yeah, I know. But you said about Father. It's his God. No, God. I asked you, who, according to Jesus, mm -hmm. there's only one true God. It's not about just God. Like, according to me, there's only one true yeah. God. But according to Jesus, the only one true God yeah. in John 17, 3 is the Father. He calls him Father because he is his No, father. he calls him the only true God. Mm -hmm. Not the Father. But he, you said he calls him Father. No. Oh, oh he's, he he, he's, father. he's addressing the Father as the one true God. Correct, yeah. Because he's, he's But son. according to you, the one true God is the Godhead. No, he's God. God so, Almighty. So he's only the Father according to you as well? God Almighty, yeah. No, no, no. Who is God Almighty? That is the question. Is it the Godhead or is it only the Father? God Almighty is the God Almighty. He's no, 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 yeah, no. You're, you're, you're really not... I know you understand, but, I you, understand, but, but, you but you're reluctant to say it. No. Look, we have the Father, and then we have the Godhead. The Godhead is not the Father. Do you agree? Um, the, Godhead. the Godhead is not just the Father. You understand no, it. You understand no, I'm it. I'm trying to put it into words. That you're not going to. Well, I put it in the words. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Yes. Are all God. I'm glad you use the word Son this time. Finally. Yeah. Yes. Because he's been using the word Word. No, he's the word. And he's now. saying the Son. Yeah. Now. Yes. So once again, who is the Godhead? Right, so you've got the Godhead consists of now the uh, Spirit, we, we term the Father, and the, the Son or the Word. Okay, so you have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do we, in what do you mean we have? In the Godhead. Not we, I mean, we understand from your God perspective. God revealed himself in those three attributes. So God, according to you, the one true God, according to you, is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, and the Son before was the Word. Oh, God, you know, stop going into semantics. Well, I'm not, you can call him the Son, there's no problem calling him the no, Son. No, before, no. Forget about before and after, I'm talking about now. Yeah, now. Now, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, according to you, is the Godhead. Yes. And this Godhead is the one true God. So one true God cannot be without the Father, one true God cannot be without the Son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One true God cannot be without the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. You cannot have 
a one true God without any of these elements in there. I'm going to find a really quick revelation. I think it almost, if you've got the eyes to see, it explains when um, they rejoin. Go on. Okay. Now, my, my question is this. Why does Jesus only refer to the Father and not the Godhead as the one true God? Because we've got, the word has become flesh and blood. Now, you cut me off early when I was talking the very first parable because it explains a lot. But now, the Jews, for their understanding, the, the, the creation of this New Testament, where the Gentiles would come in, there, there would, there's a change, it's huge. I mean, even to this day, we have many Jews that would never ever believe it. It's one of the hugest things to happen. So, we had to understand this relationship. Now, the biggest sacrifice any man could give... Are you going to give us a story again? You know, any when I'm asking a simple a question. Man could give you any sacrifice. No, son. but, but I asked you a simple question. You're doing it again. You're giving us a, a story. Unnecessarily. Between, the relationship between the father and the son yes. is for people to understand that relationship. No, he said, My but, true God. Yeah. One he true was God. His God as well, yeah. So, according to Jesus, your God is different to his. No. Yes. No. According to you, and I've, I've made this very clear, it's on camera. Yeah. Yeah. According to you, the one true God is a Godhead, not just yeah. the father. Am yeah. I right? The God. He's God. Yeah, the Godhead. He's God. God. Yeah, I know the Godhead is a God. That's what I'm telling you. The one true God, according to you, is the Godhead, which includes the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Or just God. Stop it, please. No, it's not. You're, you're trying to be confusing for... No, I'm not. No, go on. According to Jesus, who is God? In John 17, 3. If you, can't, if you haven't no, read it, no. read it, please. No, no, no. I'm going to this is eternal life, that they may know you. He's referring to the Father. The only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Yeah. So according to Jesus Christ, he's not talking about the Godhead, no. about the three in, the, right. in the Godhead. You're no, right. totally he's right. talking about only the Father. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. So according to Jesus, the only true God is only the Father. According to you, it's the all three. No. Now, whom should I believe? Jesus no. or is it Andrew? What's the name? Andrew. Yeah. Andrew or Andrew who comes here saying my Bible is the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. But then no, in no, that no, very Bible, me. God I is the truth. Oh, uh, please leave it alone. Thank you very much. I I'm glad I had, I had no, guys no, like no, you no. to get rid of all these hacklers who come here. <laughs> and I, I, I really give you credit for that. So yeah, read John 7 and no, 3. No, I'm not going to read it. Why? I, I know it. No. Okay, say, say what it says. <laughs> say what it says. Listen, Gone. For the relationship to work, to explain to everyone, Jesus Christ, his God, his father was God. To whom? Huh? To whom he was God? Jesus Christ's father was God. To whom was the father God? To everyone. No, to Jesus. Well, he's also my God. Exactly, but your God includes three, not just the Father. Yeah, but now... Don't give me but. No, no, you no, need no, to no, realize no. the difference between your God and Jesus' God. Jesus' God doesn't have three entities in there. Your God does. No, it's right, because the Word was actually with Jesus, wasn't it? No, no. I'm, asking, that. I'm not asking you what was with him, what was inside him, what was outside him. The word, wait a minute. The, According to him, yeah. the one true God is not the Godhead which includes three. According to him, the one true God is just the Father. Do you realize that? I realize what you're saying, yeah. No, no, I'm telling I want you to realize what the Bible says. Yeah, but there's reasons for all this, but yeah. Okay, does the Bible say, according to Jesus, the only true God is the Father? He calls God the Father, yes. No, does he say no, he's... He calls God no, the Father. No, does he say he's the only true God? There is only one true God, the Father, yeah. Thank you. That's what I wanted to hear. But according to you, that's not the case. No, you said, the case. you said it's the Godhead. Listen. Make up your mind. The other day, I heard someone, I don't know who was here, yeah. and they were having a nice, gentle conversation with a Christian, and they said something to them about what they believed, and the person almost snapped and said, don't tell me what I believe. Right. I don't know who it was, can't remember now. Please, sir, you can't tell me what I believe. You already did. No, but you can't the difference. tell me what I believe. You already did. You told us that you believe in God, and then you told us the only God to you is the Godhead. No, but no, I didn't. Never said that. You I know, said, you know, I said, let's say it now. I don't the know. Only true God is God. There's one God, God Almighty. Which God? God the Godhead God or God Almighty. the Father? God Almighty. One God. God the Father? One God. Yes, God the Father. One God. We, is it God the Father? We know him is God the Father. Yes. Yes, but right. is one that God. is that one God, the one true God? One is that God. God the is that God the Father? We know him is God the Father. Yes. Good. Jesus so according to you, the only true God is God the Father. No, he's God the Father. Yeah, one okay. God. Okay. So the Holy Spirit is not God. No, he is. That's what I'm saying. So it's one God. If you you can't listen. If I'm you, sorry. I'm I'm smiling because you're not, I don't want to ridicule you. I want no, from your own mouth to admit who the true God is. You said the Holy Spirit is also God, not just he God is. the Father. Yes. So how many true gods have we got? One. Which one? 
Kodumati. And who is that? Kodumati. From the three, who is that? Well, I think Kodumati. From the three. From, from, oh, so all of them are. Yeah. So it's more than one then? No, God Almighty. God Almighty. Your God Almighty is more than one. God Almighty is one. I've told you, you can't tell me what I believe. I'm not, I you're believe, telling it yourself, my friend. No, I don't. Yes, you are. I believe in one God, God Almighty. Okay, what does Jesus believe God in? God Almighty is a spirit. We can't see him, we can't talk to him, we can't communicate with him. So God, as a way of communicating with us, has done it in different ways. One of them being through the Holy Spirit, one of them being through Jesus or the Word. He has done that. Ask me how he's done it, I can't tell you. I didn't ask you in how he did it. In the same way. I'm, all I'm asking you is first at least in acknowledge the same way, who the one God is. You can't tell me how God brought someone, but Jesus brought someone. You know, earlier you God. said we can't understand miracles. Similarly, yes. we can't understand God. You know, right. I totally agree, I agree with you. That. We can never understand God fully. Neither does he expect us to understand him fully. However, do you believe Jesus knows God better than you, you and me? Are you listening? Yes, 100%. Jesus is God. No, no, no. Don't tell me Jesus is God. If Jesus was God, he wouldn't have a God, would he? Yes, he would. So but does God have a God? But you're trying to sound... You keep... Um, over and over again, I don't know why... We could have so many interesting conversations that you could try. But this one, you're going to go here, we'll be here, if we wanted to, till 12 o'clock tonight. Because you if you are going to be sincere, you this will be over very quickly. No, no, no. But you because you keep saying... The Father is the only true God in one breath, Shout and then and then you say, okay, I'm sorry I shouted, and then you say, the Holy Spirit is also fully God. Then you're talking about two gods here, and then you say the Son is also fully God. Then you're talking about three gods here. Now you show me how these three are one anywhere in the Bible. Can I tell you, anywhere in the Bible? Started this, yeah. <laughs> before we even started, I said to you, you didn't want to talk Jesus, to Jesus. No, no. Well, I can bring. I'll bring all that to you in a couple of weeks. You said Jesus Christ brought someone back to life. Jesus Christ made a hand appear out of nowhere. Jesus Christ put someone's ear on by picking yeah. off the floor. These are miracles that no man can understand. Yeah, but by whose power? You said by whose power? power? You no, 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 no. no but, power. So not his power. Right. Well, you're saying but not his power, right? I'm it is by the power of, of the one who sent me. Who is the one who sent him? Yes. His father. Now, if, wait, 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 I'm sorry I'm shouting, but this is a fact. Oh, no. You need to realize your own book. That. My point is it's what? that there was a miracle. Of course, but God... No, no, listen. No, no, no. Point, no We're not asking you how the miracles are no. done. I'm asking you who performed listen. the miracles through whom. You, if you read the book of Acts, it says uh, Jesus is but a man accredited by God who does wonders and miracles through the man Jesus by God. So the man Jesus here is not God in any way, shape or form. He's doing everything which you don't understand, the miracles, from the power of God. Now, if Jesus, you said Jesus understands God better than you and me. And I agree with that. He's a prophet of God. Who understands God better than the prophets? So when Jesus himself acknowledges that the Father is the only true God, and you come and say the Holy Spirit is also God, the Son is also God, then there you go. You are contradicting the very message of Jesus. Hence, you are not following Jesus or your Bible, as you claimed earlier. Right. Now, can we go back? Are you going to respond to that? You can. Are you going to respond to this? I'm going to go back to where we were. Which was? You cannot Telling about miracles again? Yes. I've already answered. We know. can't understand miracles, but they were done by God. Let's move right. on now. Okay. So you can't understand miracles because of what? Because there are miracles. By definition, a miracle is something that cannot be explained. No, what did you just say? You said miracles are done by God. By God. Right. Through right. a man. Miracles are done by God, right? Through a man. Oh, yeah, but miracles are done by God. Yes. Right. So now, we don't understand them. You've totally admitted that. I admit that. How they're done. What's the problem? They're done by God. Now, I say to you, and we're told in here as well, the Godhead is, is like a miracle. Right? <laughs> no, it's not. So it is. You, a miracle is not Godhead. I'm sorry, you're, you're just... You're interrupting. It's not about interrupting. interrupting, it's about being are. insincere no, now. It's not. Godhead is not like a miracle. I'm not, talking, I'm not asking you, do you understand what is in the Godhead? No, you already told me what is in the Godhead. So it's not a miracle for you, I'm sorry to say this. You clearly understand what the Godhead is. Jesus acknowledges only the Father as the true God. You acknowledge the three as God. So your belief is different to that of Jesus's. Your understanding of God is different to that of Jesus's. Do not tell me you follow Jesus because you do not. You can put as many words in my mouth as you want. I didn't put any words in your mouth. Because I, I haven't said all things that you say I believe. I believe in one true God. Which is the Godhead or the Father? God. God, God. Almighty. That's who I believe. Yeah, but is it, God, is it the Godhead or the Father? I don't say of course God you understand. Head. Godhead, right? God, right, you got God. No, no. God when you say God, when you say God, 
What do you understand in your head? Do you understand Godhead as the three? Or do you understand only the Father as Jesus did? I understand God as one. That is it. One no what? One, one what? There's only one God. You know, the reason you're reluctant to answer my question is because you know God. you're insincere no, about this. Uh, you are. I'm sorry to say this. No, you're wrong. no, it's not wrong. You, are it's not. you, you are understand wrong perfectly my question. No. Whether it is just the Father, is God just the Father? It's God Almighty. Answer the question. Is it's God, God Almighty? Yeah, okay. Is God Almighty? I am God. Wait, is God Almighty only the Father? No, God Almighty comes as He is the Godhead. He can come. Thank you very much. So, ways. you see, you God, answered, you finally answered my no, question. I'm saying God Almighty. Wait, wait. According to Jesus, is God, when you say God Almighty, that is the one true God, right? Pardon? When you say God Almighty, that is the one true God we are talking about. There is only one true okay, God. Okay, so my one true God is Almighty. Your one true God is Almighty. This is the Almighty God we are talking yeah. about. Who is Jesus' is one true God? God Almighty, but he calls him the Father. Good. So can we agree that Jesus, according to Jesus, the one true God and the Almighty God is only the Father? In them terms, yeah. Thank you. According to you, who is the God Almighty and God, uh, and God uh, uh, sorry, who is the one true God and who is God Almighty? Is it just God the Father? It's the Almighty God. I don't like calling God the Father. It's the Almighty no, no. God. Is it just the Father? It's God Almighty. If you're sincere, you'll answer this question. No, I know no, you understand I'm not it. I'm sincere. It's God Almighty. If you're sincere, please answer if the you're question. If you're sincere, can't you let my answer be that God Almighty? No, no. Is God I Almighty. asked you a specific question. You need to answer specifically. Is God Almighty and the one true God, according to you, only the Father? God Almighty. I mean, well, God Almighty, I've just said to you, he comes as God the Son, God the Father, and the Word. And, and okay. the so Holy basically, Spirit. it's not just the Father? It, all of them, yeah. Yes, good. Do you realize now that your belief is different to that of Jesus's? No, I believe that what Jesus was getting across in the early, to bring in the New Testament, which only started after he died. The Old Testament starts right until then. The biggest mistake everyone makes, Jesus was a Jew, and the Testament only starts when he died with his blood. So he was a Jew, talking to Jews, come to the Jews, to try and teach the Jews what was going to happen, that he would be the Messiah. And in all this process of the Word becoming him, with Mary, the Virgin, and the Spirit blow, blow, um, blowing the Spirit into her, all this, God there now communicates with God Almighty as the Father-Son relationship, so that he can communicate with all the people around him at that time what was going on. So if, you're, if my question was, did Jesus call he called him. Wait a minute. Did Jesus call God the Father? God the, one God, call him yeah. God the Father, only, and yes. stop there. Okay. He says, "My Father, yeah, yeah, my he, God." He did that. Then, yes. then yes, you can have a point that because he was communicating to the Jews, then he used the term Father. But here, Jesus didn't only call him Father. He said, "This is eternal life that they may know you." Who is the you here? God Almighty. No, no, no. The you here is the Father. Because the previous, the previous verse, one and two, he's addressing the Father. And he's saying, this is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God. Yeah. Who is the Father? The only true God is the Father. Yeah. Only. Now you're telling me that Jesus' entire message in the entire New Testament was only for the Jews, not no. for the Gentiles? No, no, exactly. So if it was also for the Gentiles, why did Jesus not teach anyone that the only true God is the Godhead and not just the Father? Right. Why is his message only the Father because, is the because, one true God? I know you address, you'd be better if you address me, not your audience. Right. You get my message? Yeah. But um, God only came to the Jews. Jesus only came to the Jews. What was going to happen and be revealed a lot through Paul, through Acts, and come right near the end of his testament was going to be that the um, Gentiles would come in. But he was getting across to the Jews at the time how it was going to happen. He was trying to teach them and bring them back to the scriptures that they had but couldn't see how it would happen. So this whole idea of the relationship between him and his father sending him and God, it's, it's encompassed in that sort of relationship. So where's the message for the Gentiles? Which God should they believe in? If the There's Jews have to, one God. yeah, that one God is a father, according to Jesus. God Almighty. God. No, no, you look, you're going against Jesus' message now. Jesus says the Father is the only true God. I'm sorry yeah. to say this to you. Look, you know, you're, you're, you're not, honestly, the Father. you know, after not believing in the church, you're exactly like them. 
What you're just telling me is exactly what the church is telling me. That the only true God is the Holy Spirit and the Father and the Son, which is the Trinity. He doesn't like the term Trinity. He calls them God at, again, semantics. The semantics here is very clear to the Muslims and to the Jews who believe in a unipersonal God. Yes, this universal God is not a triune, is not a Godhead consisting of three entities, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. No Jew who believes in Judaism, the rabbinic Judaism, Yes, will ever tell you that they believe in the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit or the only true God according to them is, man is, man is manifested in three different forms? No, they will not tell you this. They'll keep saying it's the Father who's the only true God, who's the Yahweh to them. Yes, they will say that it's the God. But it you see from the Jews, the Christians and the Muslims, the Christians are the odd ones out because they believe in a tri-personal God, not a unipersonal God. This is the difference between the true message of God, and even Jesus confirms this. You can keep saying Amen, but you want Jesus never says Amen to that. Jesus says, The Father is the only true God, John 7 and 3. It is a death knell to the Trinitarians, to the people who believe in the Godhead, the people who